careless man if you deal in evil. For here comes Mandrake, Mandrake the magician. With Lothar and Princess Narda, free against evil, shielded by truth, armed with magic, Lothar, Narda, and Mandrake the magician. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And now, our final illusion of the evening, the vanishing princess. Again, thank you for making this a very pleasant visit here at the Parakeet Club. I feel good, all right? I like it here. We never did get a call from the agent Edwards. Everything must have gone well with his plan. Did you have a bag pack? Out there. We won't have any too much time. Better hurry, Miss Narda. Narda? That's strange, she's not there. Perhaps something's wrong. Perhaps she's fainted in the box. This happened before. Should be back by this time. Women. Yes, even Narda. Is it possible that she's gone back to the hotel? Well, probably. She probably forgot something. Something very important, like a bottle of perfume or a hairbrush. Sorry too, monsieur. May I at least have an explanation? In due time, mademoiselle. 
This is an unusual experience for me, you must know. I've never before disappeared in a hot case. This is the first time for everything. Please sit down. You kindly see to it that I'm returned at once. I have a commitment tomorrow evening. You can drop all this pretense, Princess Marla. I know why Mandrake accepted this engagement at the Parakeet Club. He was sent to assist in the escape of a counterintelligence agent, a man most dangerous to our cause. I have the faintest idea what you're talking about. Haven't you? Sure. Yes, I know she checked out some time ago, but it's just possible she might have returned or forgotten something. Oh, I see. Well, thank you. Not there? No. She left her key at the desk. It hasn't been picked up again. Maybe that's... Hello. Patrick. Neither. Where in the world are you? I'm being helped. What? It's true. But why? I can't tell you now. You must come to me at once. Drive out the old ocean road. Six miles. Six miles? You'll come to a tall grove of palm trees. Through the grove is a narrow lane to the left of the highway. I see. It's not marked, but follow it. Soon you'll come to a wider driveway leading up to a mansion. You must come at once. But what is more important, you must come along. You must come unarmed. Hire a taxi, but don't keep the car waiting. Let the man go. The man takes it. Narda? Narda? What's wrong, Mandrake? It's trouble. Narda. And probably the agent Edwards. Let's go. You can only come part of the way. Glass of sherry. Why did you have me kidnapped? It was less... less difficult, shall we say. Less conspicuous to spirit you away than someone as well known and recognized as Mandrake. The whole world knows the famous Mandrake. My apologies, Princess Narda. You too are famous. But you disappear so beautifully. Why do you want Mandrake here? Would you like to see? I would. I should be most happy to show you. Paddock? Mr. Paddock, I'm sure, would be most delighted to show you why we want Mandrake here. Paddock, the young lady is curious. Take her to see our other guest. We must satisfy her curiosity. Father, now be careful. There might be an outside guard. Do not underestimate me. What do you want? 
There's a man here on the island of Mordica who is most dangerous to our cause. He's planning to escape from the island. We don't know where he's hiding. You will have to discover him for us. Why? His name is Edwards. Perhaps you've heard of him? No, I haven't. He has, unfortunately for him, discovered certain of our plans which he wishes to reveal in fort. He would destroy much painstaking work on our part. He must not leave this island with those plans. How would I know where he is? I don't know the man. Perhaps. But there is someone here who does. Edward's aid. Why don't you ask him? We've tried and failed. We've given him, shall we say, the most intense coaxing, but he wouldn't tell. Why do you think he would tell me? Your hypnotic powers are world famous, Mandrake. You can make people say and do things they would not say unless they were under your spell. It should be a most exciting challenge. Shall we go? Please don't be too shocked with what you shall see. Of course, I don't have to tell you what would happen to your charming Princess Narda if you fail. This is time for mind over emotion. Are you all right? Yes, I'm all right. But I'm worried about him. Think you can do anything? Wilson! Mr. Wilson! How can you do that? It has to be done. Mandrake. Keep watching from upstairs. Flowers. Flowers. Get on with it. Be quiet. I told you this would be difficult, if not impossible. Wilson? The flowers? Where did they go? It was so beautiful. We planted roses this year. My wife? It was so beautiful this year. Wilson, look at me. Look into my eyes. Seven. By, by 
Three, five, seven. Three, five, seven, five. Four, two, one. Three, five, seven by four, two, one. Sweet, Wilson. to be allowed to roam at large and interfere with my plans. And you, Princess Arda, such a shame to crush such a lovely flower in full bloom. The flower? Yes, we planted roses this year in our garden. There's no escape, Mandrake. No matter how clever you are, there's no escape for you from here. He must be searching for us. He couldn't hear us through this stone. He may be in the house, but how will he ever find us down in the cellar? There must be some way out there. You should see the signal. Thank you. 
doing it, you know. to help you in case of trouble. And the knife. How did you manage from that distance? Part of the magician's training. Lonely. What's happened here? Everything's under control. Well, it's impossible. How did you manage? 
How did you manage to escape? It's impossible. Mr. Brown, a good magician, never reveals his secret. Mandrake was played by Cole Norton. Lothar, Woody Strode. Narda, Lisa Howard. Mr. Brown was Carl Frank, and Wilson was played by Robert Ellenstein.